Well, welcome to Investor Talk. Um, I'm sitting here at the Carrick Wealth Group of Companies and I'm sitting here with the CEO Craig Featherby. Um, Craig, tell us a little bit about Carrick. I know it's a, a fairly new company in the wealth game. Tell us a little bit about your business and, uh, and what you do. Yeah, um, Neil, first of all, thanks very much for the opportunity. Um, Carrick Wealth is a relatively new organization here in the wealth management space of South Africa. Uh, we were licensed and registered by the Financial Services Board on 8th of October last year. Um, we've now established three offices here in South Africa, Cape Town, Durban and Johannesburg. Uh, we've also set up an office in Zimbabwe providing uh, expatriates and high net worth individuals advice in Zimbabwe. And most recently we've been granted three licenses out of Mauritius by the Financial Services Commission. Neil, extensively what we actually do is provide holistic boutique financial planning solutions to a multitude of individuals, um, primarily expatriates living and working in the countries that we have offices in, mm -hmm. who are uh, far away from home and constantly looking for some form of international financial planning advice. Right. Uh, secondly, um, we do a lot of business with the, the transfer of frozen pension market. Um, it's currently called CureOps, you may be familiar with it in, in that we help individuals that have lived and worked in the UK who contributed to a British uh, pension scheme who are now uh, have left uh, the UK and now looking at actually doing something with it. And then lastly, we look at helping uh, sort of high net worth individuals with their global offshore financial planning requirements. So uh, offshore trusts, um, personal retirement plans, um, personal financial planning relating to their life, wills, etc. So, holistic financial planning for a very, very uh, unique section of the market. It really is a relatively new, um, it was a, a part of the a, a, a European uh, directive in 2006, in that it was about the freedom of money. Um, you lived and worked in the UK, like here in South Africa, you contribute to a pension scheme. When you leave, unlike here in South Africa, your pension had to remain within the UK. And there's various um, restrictions um, that prevent you doing certain things with your pension. Mm -hmm. um, so if you move back to the UK, that was okay. But what generally people found was that they weren't going back to the UK and their pension was stuck. Mm -hmm. um, European Union passed a, a, some, a piece of legislation on the 6th of April 2006 that basically said that if, you, if you're out of the UK and you're not planning to go back to the UK, you can transfer it to a qualified, recognised overseas pension scheme, a QROP, mm -hmm. um, which enables you to have greater control, it enables you to have a, a, an array of benefits, namely um, better investment solutions. Here in South Africa, it becomes extremely tax efficient. Um, and the number one uh, benefit is you're, you're able to pass over your pension uh, proceeds through to um, your beneficiary. And then, then that will then be invested into a platform um, in a jurisdiction such as Malta or Gibraltar. Those are the ones that we commonly use. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, then we have um, uh, approved investment structures. And when I say approved, they have to be approved by the trustees of the schemes. Um, bearing in mind, you know, we're dealing with pension assets, so mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very boring assets. We're looking yeah. at safe and secure capital appreciation opposed to, you know, really lighting the, the stars and, and, and getting the most out of pension schemes. Bearing in mind, Carrick Wealth only operate in the offshore environment, so we don't do any RAND denominated investments at right. this stage. It's right. a plan to go there, mm -hmm. but at this stage we are concentrating on helping South Africans, generally high net worth South Africans who have either lived overseas, they've set up trusts overseas, and they've come back to South Africa, and they're looking for a local service provider who can facilitate the servicing of those structures. Secondly, mm -hmm. we believe diversification in both currency and demographics, uh, in terms of the country of your investments, is very, very important. And therefore, we are helping in individuals externalize, utilizing the RAND allowances, externalizing some of their RANDs, investing in hard currencies and maintaining hard currency investments. 
one of the main reasons why I felt there is an opportunity in the market is, is, is the word independent. Um, Carrick is truly an independent financial services provider. We do not have any links, ties to any investment funds, trust companies, investment banks, um, products and so forth. And therefore we have the ability to research the marketplace um, and, and truly, truly find the very, very best solution for our clients. Secondly, um, like any service provider, we believe in the word service. Um, I'm backed up by a fantastic board of directors, um, a fantastic sales management team, um, and when you become a client of Carex, you really, really do get state-of-the-art service. We use state-of-the-art technology, and we, in, we ensure that our clients are up-to-date with their investments every second of the day, um, which we believe is obviously very, very important. And I think lastly, um, we, we're, a, we're a young, dynamic team of individuals. Um, I keep on saying we're, a, we're an African service uh, provider um, created and run by Africans. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very, very important to be able to have on the job, on the street knowledge in terms of what's happening in Africa because that's what our clients are looking for. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the future. I think Carex is creating some waves in the marketplace. Um, and the future is going to be really good for us. The number one priority that I think, first of all, before you even look at an investment, um, one needs to align yourself with a company that A, you feel comfortable with. And therefore, I would suggest that you do a lot of research on this company. Uh, the internet is a fantastic tool today, and the internet can tell you a lot about an individual or a company. Um, I would also suggest that one contacts regulators. Um, you know, 10, 15 years ago, the investment industry, certainly the offshore investment industry, was largely not regulated. Mm -hmm. Well, it's all dramatically changed today. Right. Um, here we're regulated by the Financial Services Board, Mauritius by the Financial Services Commission, Zimbabwe by the Securities Exchange Commission. So wherever in the world you're planning to do an investment, mm -hmm. make sure you align yourself with a company that you feel comfortable with, and be a, comp a company that is truly, truly regulated to be doing what they are supposed to be doing. Then from an investment point of view, well, the most important thing is to be completely, completely transparent with your financial service provider. Mm -hmm. They can only give you a solution based upon the facts and the information that you tell them. Sure. Right? And therefore, yeah. if you are a low risk taker, make sure that you tell them that you're a low risk taker. Um, if you're a high risk taker, make sure that you're interested in getting involved in high risk and high returns and so forth. But above all, my number one rule that I say to my customers is diversification. Um, nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody knows what's going to happen in China. Um, nobody could have predicted what's happened in Russia. Nobody knows what the oil price is going to do, do, although some people say it's going to be $40 at the end of the year, and some people say it's going to be $70. Mm. Um, so the most important thing that we try and tell our customers is diversification. Get involved in diversifying currencies, diversifying your asset classes, mm -hmm. and making sure that you're getting the level of investment advice that you actually want to, to get from the beginning. And bearing in mind investments are for the long term. Mm -hmm. um, the great investor Warren Buffett have always said, mm -hmm. put your investments in a drawer, close the drawer, open up the drawer in five years time, see how it's going and put it back in the drawer. Mm -hmm. Don't try and time the market, mm -hmm. spend time in the market. Um, and that's exactly what we try and advocate here at Carrick. Well, Craig, thank you very much.